So, in my previous tutorials, we already discussed a basic overview of the uh, perspective rulers, and I even showed you how to pull up the grids. So now, I think it's about time that you got a little overview of the um, focus line rulers. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and just get started before I describe them to you. So, we're going to go over here to the rulers section. And we're going to choose special ruler because it's under the special rulers. Now down here I already have focus line selected, but I think it's usually on default on parallel line. I can't remember. We're going to switch to focus line and <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and place our focus line. So for now we're going to use this little this little sketch I drew for the tutorial. It's kind of silly, but you know. So we, when you're talking about a focus line, we're talking about um, all the lines that you're going to stroke are going to come in towards the, the center or the subject line. So where I put this little dot doot, right there in the middle of her face, this is where all the lines are going to converge to. So on a separate layer from the uh, actual focus line ruler, I'm going to just draw a few lines and show you how that works. So basically, you know, it's for doing those shocked manga effects. And it, it'll automatically um, snap to and will go in a basically a radial design around your subject. And let me so, that's the basics of the focus line. Now, here's some cool things about the focus line. Is that... Let me go ahead and turn this one off for right now. Let's go ahead and get some tone on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and erase that for the time being. So, now we have a tone layer and our focus um, line ruler is still active. Now what this does is it means we can now draw the focus lines with tone, which is pretty handy. Because, you know, it's not all the time that you're going to want a heavily inked focus lines. So we can... Oh my gosh! <laughs> kind of action. Alright. Then, you know, you can erase as normal. I'm going to go ahead and just use a crosshatch eraser just to kind of give it a little effect. And that really is pretty much all there is to the, uh, the focus line ruler. Now, I do realize that, um, there are tones that do this. They will automatically create starbursts and other things for you. But um, using the focus line ruler, it gives you more flexibility in what you want to do. It um, gives you a little more freedom. And I'm not going to discuss any of the other focus line tools for today. We're just going to keep it at this. A nice short little tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.